The Lord be with you. And with your Reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. In the course of his preaching, John the Baptist said, Someone is following me, someone who is more powerful than I am, and I am not fit to kneel down and do the strap of his sandals. I have baptized you with water, but he will baptize you with the Holy Spirit. It was at this time that Jesus came from Nazareth in Galilee and was baptized in the Jordan by John. No sooner had he come up out of the water than he saw the heavens torn apart and the spirit like a dove descending on him. And a voice came from heaven, You are my son, the beloved my favor rest on you. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Why are we baptized? Why? <coughs> Do parents bring their children for God seeking baptism? Or adults in the RCIA program who, recognizing that there is something more in this world, seek to know God and be baptized? Why? The Feast of the Baptism of the Lord celebrates a very significant aspect of our Catholic faith. It says that in this act, we of baptism, we become children of God, that we become his heir. We become persons who are enjoined to God in a very unique way. Sometimes at parish, I would ask persons bringing their children for baptism, why do you want your child baptized? Why? And we get the normal, well, my grandparents did it. Um, you know, I think is what should be done. Uh, but no real faith response, no sense of this is not only what God invites me to do and by this act live faithfully, but a kind of well, this is what we're custom doing. Baptism is much more than custom, much more than practice, but an invitation for you and I who are baptized to live our lives in a particular manner, to respond to God differently. Christ was baptized by John in the Jordan. And John was baptizing people for repentance and forgiveness of sin. Now we know Christ did not sin. So why was Jesus baptized? Why did he accept the baptism of John? Christ did this to invite us to understand that when we are baptized, we are enjoining ourselves to God in a very unique way, much more than the forgiveness of sin, which is a very important aspect, for we are all born with a stain of original sin. But God, in God's wisdom, understands that you and I are called to respond to him differently and to live our lives for him. And by our baptism and in our baptism, that a new relationship with God is formed. The first reading, Prophet Isaiah, with you 
I will make an everlasting covenant out of the favors promised to David. See, I have made of you a witness to the peoples, a leader and master of the nations. That God is inviting us to respond to him differently because of this relationship and this covenant that God has made with his people. That you and I, because of our baptism, are joined to God in a very unique way. And in doing so, are invited to respond to our world in a very unique and different way. Isaiah says, Seek the Lord while he's still to be found. Call to him while he's still near. Let a wicked person abandon their ways and the evil person their thoughts. That this baptism which God has offered and calls us to has a unique way that we are to be in relation with God. Find him. Find him while he's still to be found. Create a personal response and relationship with God the Father. Don't let our lives simply be persons who respond to things without consideration of God. St. John says, If we love God, we do what he commands us to. And this is what loving God is. Keeping his commandments. And his commandments are not difficult because anyone who has been begotten by God has already overcome the world. This is a victory over the world. Our faith. Our faith. And faith in God and belief in God in our modern time is threatened. We look at what has happened in France and we pray for the people of France at this time. Faith is being threatened. And our response, your response and mind ought to be out of that sense of faith. Our nation has begun a year with over 17 murders, unfortunately, by now. And you and I are indeed invited to speak to that, that violence against person. Because it, what it says is that over time, we've not adequately taught our people to believe in God, but also to value the lives that God has blessed us with. That someone can look at another and not seeing the value of the person before them and take their lives. It's a sin and an evil. Your baptism and mine invites us to respond to our world differently. That persons ought to see in the baptized a man and woman of faith out of which our children come to know God and honor him, to love him and serve him. That the response of our day begins and ends with God our Father. Constantly aware of what God is calling us to and how God is calling us to respond to our world in this time. The voice came from heaven and said, you are my son, the beloved, and my favor rests on you. And that favor is also to be received and experienced by us as well. The baptism that you and I have received ought to call us to see our own sense of being favored by God. And favored by God in the Old Testament speaks of a God whose bosom we experience, whose arm and embrace is there, whose love is extended towards his peoples for all times. 
this fever, that one has a re- unique way of experiencing God's love and God's mercy, God's favor. And you and I are favored by God. Sometimes I'm not sure if as Christians baptized, we understand that we are favored. Do you think you're favored? Do you believe you're favored? And that sense of being favored, God invites us to walk with it in our world and invite others to also see that they too are favored. Because sometimes you think we, we, we favor and it's all about us. But God says in our neighbor, in our poor, in our abandoned, in those at homes, the aged, the vulnerable, they too all are favored. And we treat favored people as if they are favored blessed, experiencing God's grace and mercy, for indeed all of us are. This feast of the baptism of the Lord invites us, all who are baptized, all who have been sealed, in the name of the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, to understand that we have a responsibility to changing and transforming our world, to making it better. That our language, behavior, responses ought to reflect a person who is baptized. Integrity in personal and public life. Fidelity in personal relationships. Honoring and respecting each other. Person and property. Adhering to the laws of our land. All of these things are to be signs of our baptism. Sometimes persons think baptism, we sprinkle some water and we say some prayers and, you know, it's much more than that. It's a faith response to God and an ongoing faith response to God at that. I pray God will strengthen us to live that baptism which he has given, which his son had received and invites us to follow in. That a baptism that you and I have received through God's grace calls us to a commitment to life and response to God in a particular way, a fidelity and faith that our actions reflect the presence of God, that our behaviors demand in principles that which God is asking of us, faithfulness to God and each other. If we love God, We do what he commands us. And this is what loving God is. To keep his commandments. May we, O God, be faithful to the baptismal promises that we make. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit.